Greetings and welcome back to the channel. I think I had that running a little bit too fast at the beginning. Once I turned it down a little bit on the RPM, we were getting a much better cut. You join me while we're working on the footwell of the steam engine. In the previous episode, you may recall, I said we had to open out this hole for the pony wheel or the pivot point. After much research, I've kind of decided on how I'm going to do it. As you've just seen at the very beginning, I've opened that hole out. It's now 20 mil diameter. So I'm thinking of opening it a little bit more. So this may have to involve the boring head because that's the largest tool I have. So I'll get that set up. So at the minute, I'm literally just taking off um, half a mil off the diameter at a time. Uh, having never done this before, I didn't want to uh, kind of take too much off because I've never bored before. So I want to try and get this to as close as this hole, as close to as 25 mil as I can. Because obviously with the bush that I'm going to put in there, that I'm going to turn on the lathe, uh, we can always make it to whatever size we've got. But I've also just realised, this has got auto feed down, why am I bothering with the, hat, with the manual? So I'll give it a go with the, the auto feed. Put it down a bit further. That's much easier. It's a shame I keep having to uh, stop it to adjust it. So that now should be 23 mil, which once I get this dial back round to zero, I'll, I'll, I'll give it a check. I may have to move that. I may have to move the cutter over. Hopefully we can get to zero.
and drop this down So we're at 24.4. So I'll take, I'll do one more, one more cut, one more pass. Send it through twice. And just hear it, just hear it catching. It's a really nice finish. Really nice. Twenty-four point nine three. That's close enough for me, because I was wanted it to about twenty-five. So that's superb. I'm really impressed with that. No damage to the tip. It's a really smooth finish. Hopefully you can see that there. That's a, it's a really nice finish I've uh, managed to get on there. Shame it's going to be hidden. Yeah, I'm really impressed with this from RDG tools you know it's it's only a cheap one but I'm really impressed with finish on that smart Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up again uh, so I can get machine off the tops of these where the bush is going to go. I want it to sit flat to the plate, not to the tops of this, the oh, whatever it's called, the checker plate bit, the checker. So I'm going to set it up again and then I'm just going to machine off down to this top of this surface just so I can get a nice neat weld on. Right, let's give that a little go. I've got it set up as close to the middle as I can. I'm just going to do it gently, I think. See what happens. I'm just going to use the manual for the second for the moment. <laughs> 